Er. I'm the Slash Me Reviewer, and this is my review of. Caveman out there who haven't heard of. There's a little horror film directed by John Carpenter called Halloween. And with the swoon of remakes out there in 2009, Rob Zombie felt that he needed to remake it. Now, I'm not fans of really a big fan of remakes, but I am a fan of Rob Zombie because I did enjoy Hall I did enjoy House of a Thousand Corps and Devil's Rejects. I thought they were very gritty and raw films. Some remakes are better left untouch because the only thing I got out of this while watching the remake the Halloween was how such of a perv I am for sitting through this film I mean I am one giant perv that the fact that I sat through this whole film and watched naked women get killed by a guy wearing a mask this movie I want to say is one of the worst films I have ever seen in my entire life because I'm a huge fan of John Carpenter version. Matter of fact, that is a very beloved film and a very, very, it's a film that is brought up in this household quite a lot. I'll say Rob Zombie does make this film his own and I gotta give him props for that. The wor But the worst thing about this movie is not anything in this particular film is the fact that it sprung a frickin' sequel. And don't even get me started with the white horse. Oh my god. Honestly, there's just... You just don't screw up this film. This film ain't even scary, by the way. This film is not scary. I sat through the whole time and I'm just thinking... There's only maybe one or two movies that come out a year where I'm like, I want my money back. I want my money back. This was one of those films. Normally, if I see a bad movie, I'm like, okay, that was a bad movie. Brush it over the side. Okay, it was a waste of money, but I, I'm not going to beg for my money back. This movie, I wanted my money back because this was not the Michael Myers I grew up with. It was not, and by the time we get any glimpse of that old Michael Myers, it's far too late, and it's just... It's not scary or not thrilling enough, you know, and it just sucks because Rob Zombie is such a gruesome and bad guy, and I still can't wait to see his Lords of Salem's when it comes out, because that sounds like him, but still, this film was one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my entire life. As a matter of fact, I would have to say this is probably the second worst film I've ever seen in my entire life. I've seen some piece of crap. But still, this is by far one of the worst movies that I've ever seen in my entire life. I highly recommend that you skip this. this I felt like a part of watching this movie. A lot's been going on in my life. So you really, my anger for this film is just it's not coming off as much as I'd like it to be. But Because I really want to just have a mental breakdown and like go wild. But I've got a lot of homework and stuff like that on my mind. So yeah. As a rating goes, I'm going to give this film a freaking 1 out of 5. Awful movie. Don't tell yourself that this is a good movie. Because it's not a good movie. This movie is not good. I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you've just been slashed.